Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well a Aries Rising. Our weekly tarot reading, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so uh, the first one which uh, will mark the topic of your uh, week here, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, that is to be the Queen of Cups. Third card that we have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that it is the Five of, uh, the five of Swords here. And the last one that represents the guidance that Taro is offering uh, to you, Aries, uh, that will be uh, the nine of uh, the nine of wands. All right, quite a, quite of an uh, interesting week. It's uh, what you have ahead, and the first one <coughs> that is to be, <coughs> excuse me, that is to be the seven of uh, swords. Here is going to be catalyzed uh, by the knights of cups so uh these two cards they are a active neutrals in that particular position and they do kind of like represent that the week itself at least for you is going to be a week where you have to collect your debts in general right debts that you do have as favors debts that you do have as a let's say money and in generally standing for standing for one's rights so if there are people who are attending to you in a negative way or rather like i'm mistreating you and etc etc the whole point here uh with these couple of cards the seven of swords and the knight of cups it is that uh, how do you say it in english that you are to kind of have that snugging feeling that you are undermined it that you are not appreciated enough okay and that's uh, you obviously you do deserve more and uh, for that reason it looks like that you are to storm your situations and not only just that but as well take some precautionary measures so these uh, these situations doesn't happen again like you know your boss mistreats you your partner in relationship mistreats you your friends mistreating are mistreating you and etc etc but the best thing of these two cards is that you're going to learn a big lesson that sometimes is best to trust your healthy sense of mistrust in a sense of that you know not every time when you help someone you do good thing at least to yourself so it's it's kind of like a, a point where you're to become a little bit more conservative in regards whom you are helping how you are helping and how much you are investing into certain endeavors career wise or relationship wise 
Then the next one, I, it regards to the challenges that you have to overcome. We do have a person here that is the Queen of Cups and it is accompanied with the uh, Justice card. So these, these are a passive, um, yeah, passive neutrals. And uh, it's uh, basically what those couple of cards are pointing is that your decision to adopt such a standpoint, you know, kind of like a standing for yourself and saying the things with their true name, because it, it literally relates to the, the, to the truth. Let's say when you don't like something happening, you just stand for yourself and you say that you don't like it. Well, that thing is not going to be liked by uh, that person here, Queen of Cups. Now, why this is a challenge? Well, it is a challenge because uh, in generically, you do count on this Queen of Cups person a lot. That person it is a faithful companion. Que Queen of Cups is always a faithful companion because this person kind of, it's very discreet in regards to what is going on in between you two, not to mention that it very well knows you, knows, um, you know, you know, in generally knows that uh, what you're going through, what kind of problems you have, how much pain you're experiencing, and so on and so forth. And when you stand for yourself, it looks like that this Queen of Cups is not going to be very agreed with your standpoint that you are now taking on an aggressive, um, aggressive, aggressive position that you are adopting in an aggressive ma manners, if you will, and that you are storming uh storming your environment so in other words he's gonna think that uh, you are um basically in you are acting recklessly unnecessary that's uh, that's the whole point and that nothing good is gonna come out of it and so the queen of cups will try to talk you out of it right or to diminish this sense of self-righteousness if you will and the challenge for you is to not allow that person to sweet talk you out of your determination to at the end of the day you know demand for what you deserve so the next one uh, it regards to the positive aspect here and that is going to be the five of swords and here is going to be accompanied by the um by the hierophant so these are a active enemies in this particular position and uh, it, it literally those cards are describing that situation when someone becomes sick of something you know i'm sick of being treating like being treated like this i'm sick of always you know being the good guy i'm sick of always trusting people and then they betraying my trust and so on and so forth now the five of first swords here with the hierophant they touches very well this what i said at the start uh, trusting the healthy sense of mistrust uh, on a positive note it doesn't look like that you are going to have any regret whatsoever whenever you whenever you identify people that are not worthy for your trust either um, although excuse me that beforehand probably you do have a good, good communication with them and good relationship with them and so on and so forth so on a <clears throat> on a plus side with these two cards you are going to identify false friends you are going to identify people who are taking advantage of your kindness or taking advantage of your how do you say it in English when you know you're it's not kindness when you simply cannot say no this isn't kindness this is more like a I don't know I, I don't know the words here but I hope you get what I'm saying and this time around you're gonna learn to say no you're gonna learn to to basically chase your benefit and uh, Although at the end of the day, you know, that the win or rather the triumph may be bitter, it may be sweet. Even if it is bitter, it is a triumph either way. I mean, triumph, it is a triumph. So, yeah, it, it's, um, it's a week where you are to, let's say, build up certain defensive, uh, defensive structures around yourself, not allowing everybody to take advantage of your drive you know of your enthusiasm and above everything else uh, uh, of your kindness and the last card it's um the 
guidance the tarot is offering this is going to be the uh, nine of swords that nine of wands excuse me here accompanied with the ace of swords so we do have an active friends in this particular position so what these couple of cards points it is the identification of the those certain changes into your behavior have have been an a unnecessary unnecessary not unnecessary unnecessary changes that you will have to do because otherwise <clears throat> you are not only walking but let's say running toward a storm and in order for you to avoid that storm that it is looming on the horizon you uh, if you will to say you have to place a uh, an accurate diagnosis upon what the people around you are, how they take you and how much advantage of you they are taking as well. Show a mental strength, strength and do what it is necessary, you know, to sap and sever these, um, well, noxious influences, if you will. And at the end, um, also the nine of uh, wands it is uh, the card that points a an, an identification of an, an adversary rival enemy as well in some cases in this case so uh, and with the appearance of the ace of swords it looks like that uh, you're not going to be exactly pleased whom that rival or whom that person which you are or people which you are identifying that you are giving way too much from yourself toward them are but also don't don't forget Aries that you are as well not going to regret that you are stop devoting yourself into their um, into their agenda because at the end of the day you have to devote to your own personal deeds so you do have a personal growth otherwise you are only contributing to the growth of the rest so that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.